sliding door like this. So you click the button, it goes like that. So uh, yeah, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start using my voice for most of my videos. So um, yeah, some of them I might not, but most, some of them I will. So, yeah. Um, this is my, this I recorded. This is my second time recording this video because my first try didn't work. First off, what you need to get is a tarp, okay? So what you want to do is just build up a wall. So build a wall like this. Copy, go like that. Uh, you, you guys can pause this video if you haven't built a wall already. So I'll give you some time. Okay, so after you do something like this, Make sure you set your snap to grid to 0 0.01. Um, it makes it more precise and stuff. So, um, yeah. So, next thing you want to do is actually not add in a door. You want to add in a conveyor belt. So, what you want to do is go to advanced conveyor. And then, what you want to do, what are, I, I keep saying what you want to do, but it is what you want to do. So, and then go like this. Make it like around this big. Alright, and then. What you, and then what you want to do next is take it, go like that, go like that, and then what you want to do is, so next thing you want to do is make sure, so make sure it, the conveyor is all the way like this, and the arrows point that way, then can collide off, so it falls, that's all you gotta do for now. Now the next thing I'm gonna have you do is so uh, add in a go to moving parts, add a push pull like this. Make it around so make it the same size as the conveyor belt and obviously you can change it to whatever you want to look like, what you, what you want it to look like, but for me I'm just gonna go simple. But yeah, just you can you can also copy the right line, but if you want you can but the origin origin now looks better. So just go like that. And then make sure it lines up with the sides of the conveyor belt. So like that. And then go. And then it, and then you just want it to cover up the door. So like that. Or you can just yeah. So that's fine. Because just make this part go down a little bit. And like yeah. So now you should have something like this. And the next thing you want to do is just. I'm just gonna make sure it works. So I'm gonna turn the camp light on. And yep, okay, so that works perfectly. Okay? So, next thing you can do is copy these three parts right here. So, copy these three parts, put it like that. So, now you should have like a little enclosure like this. Um, and now, what you want to do is, um, so, so, if, yeah, so what you can do next is you can just make the conveyor belt the same. Like as type like of material and color as your wall. You don't have to, but it just makes it like blend in a little more. So next thing, what you want to do is so you can we, we can leave the roof of it and all that. Keep that like that for now. Next thing you want to do is add a button. And with this button, what you want is go to behaviors. So so show timer false. Um, set the timer to 1.1. Um, player activated. Okay, so then click on. Um, so make sure it's connected to the conveyor belt. Confirm. And then what you want to have it on is make objects visible. And this object is already visible, but it still um makes it um can collide. It turns can collide on. So yeah. So next thing, or well, what you can do. If you want, it's just make the conveyor belt. You can just make the transparency one, so you just can't see it. But well, that's optional. So, but if it doesn't work, then maybe just try to um, make it invisible. All right. So now you can just design your button. Um, I'm gonna do a wall button, but you can do one where you like walk up, and it'll automatically activate. I'll do um, two versions. All right. So. Put that against the wall. Let's just do diamond plate. So now we have a button like that, and see that works. So um, that works. But the thing one, what you want to do now is just close it, just like that. And 
and we need it to come back. Like, if you want to use it again, we need it so you can, like, use it again, you know? So, what we're going to do next is just add a, oh, well, yeah, so what I'm going to do is add another button. But this one will reset. So, what you want, same things, except you want to change, it's a reset push blocks. And then, if it's sticking out of the wall, so just go like that, grab that, and then click. I don't think I had it on. Okay, so okay, so go like that. So make sure you have that one, the, the wall added. So not the door. So next thing you want to do is just uh, make, you can make this button red, so it's more obvious of what it does. And now what you can do is just copy it to both sides. Like that. I think you ought to hook it up again, but it's fine. So I just go like that. And then that. Alright, so now it should be something like this. So you go like, let me just face up. So what, what, when you click the blue button, it should go like that. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot. Um, we need to make this a lot bigger. So I'll make it around that big. Um, go like that. Um, you can just like, so yeah, so just go like that, and then copy to this side as well. Um, make sure it lines up with this roof. Go like that. Now, now it should look something like this. Um, if you don't like how it's like uneven, something you could do is just add a wall here, or you can move the button. But therefore, so I'm just gonna add a wall to make it look like. Um, So you can just go like that, or whatever you want. Yeah, so um, now you should have something that looks like this. So, um, yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the other way you can do it. So the other way that I'm going to be showing you is the um, way that you can, so it's like an invisible button, so like you walk up and it'll do it. So the way to do that is, so first, get a button like normal grab a button but this one you want it to be can collide false all right and then transparency one um make sure it has the same settings as this add it to there so what it'll do when you walk up near it it'll activate the door so go like that walk up let me reset it first so when you walk up do it so Make objects visible. Um, yeah. So, oh yeah. Well, I don't know why I added the door. You're supposed to add the um. You're supposed to add the conveyor belt. Let me just add the conveyor belt instead. So this might be confusing for you, but you know, it's alright. So, uh, go like that. Alright. So, um, yeah. So now I can open, but keep the red button to close it because I don't really. Well, currently. Well, there's another way so to close it if you but if you want to be able to get on like in it on both sides then you don't want to do this but if you just want it to be like a one time use or something go like this so just copy it to this side then what you want to have it on is reset push blocks objects get the wall so the wall right there right now so let's get that and now it'll work like this so uh, yeah, this is the finished product. Um, so what it does is walk up. So yep. So it goes like that. So yeah, this is the finished product. This is gonna be the way with the um, automatic door. close all the way just make this part a little bit bigger so like just go like that and then this is gonna be the way with the buttons okay so let me just get rid of that so this will be the way with the uh, non-automatic button so open it go like that right there you can block it like that 
So, oh uh, yeah, that's how to make a uh, a sliding door, kind of obscure. Um, if you want to see more videos like this and more videos, well, yeah. So if you want to see more videos like this, then uh, like and subscribe. Um, and comment if I should keep using um microphone. You know, I prefer to use microphone because I don't like typing out all the words and stuff. But oh uh, yeah, and you should also subscribe because I don't really.